Unit 4.5 The hybrid or blended style The hybrid, or blended style, follows an integrated approach to teaching that blends the teacher's personality and their ability to teach using different teaching styles in order to match the students with their learning styles. This teaching style is great, but you might want to consider the long-term requirements as far as time and resources are concerned. It would be great to do projects where students can decide within a set of rules how to complete the project, but this requires lots of time, planning and resources to ensure a high quality of learning is taking place. An advantage of a hybrid style is that it enables teachers to tailor their teaching styles to student learning styles while using the most appropriate activities and tasks for the subject matter. There are various blended models that lend themselves to more independent learning practices that can be categorized as e-learning. These are three examples there are many. 1. Station Rotation This is a blend of scheduling traditional and online learning with one educational institution. This model could be adopted for students that are studying complex or challenging subjects online or are being homeschooled by a parent or guardian that is comfortable with teaching certain subjects and leaving the more challenging subjects to a more qualified educator. 2. Enriched virtual learning. Students basically study online and only go to their educational institution when the educator or student requires face-to-face -face engagement. 3. Supplemental learning. Students attend in-person classes for achieving their primary learning goals and then attend online classes to supplement their learning in class. This can also work using online line lessons as the primary source of instruction and in-person classes as the supplementary source of instruction. This is another model tutors can benefit from as most of these students need small groups or one-on-one -on -one attention in order to improve their grades and have a deeper understanding of the content. Using a blended style also runs the risk of trying to do too many things for all students at once. It's crucial that teachers remain focused on their teaching objectives rather than spending too much time and energy on creating different tasks and activities using different styles that do not match the best ways students learn or create issues in the process that are confusing. A blended approach requires knowing your strengths and knowing your students using the best teaching style for their learning styles and creating the optimal lesson plan with activities that will best help you and your students achieve your teaching objectives and their learning outcomes respectively. Thanks for watching this video.